Hi everyone! I'm so excited because we're in Thailand for the next two weeks. We're in Bangkok right now. We're gonna stay in Bangkok for a few days and then we're gonna fly over to Phuket, explore the island life there for a few days and then fly to Chiang Mai, maybe see some elephants um, and then we're gonna fly back here to Bangkok before we leave. So really excited for all the great food and shopping and adventures over the next two weeks. And today is day one and we'll see what we get up to. We arrived pretty late last night. We got to the hotel around 2 a.m. We're staying at a boutique hotel called Lit Bangkok. They have very reasonable rates, friendly staff, and is centrally located near all the touristy things we want to do. It's right along Sukhumvit Road and the BTS Skytrain. The area is one of the main shopping, dining, nightlife hubs of the city. Okay, let's do a quick room tour before we unpack everything and make everything messy. The extra radiance room has standard beds, two twins or a king. The curtains are closed right now, but there's a large window here, a small couch and coffee table, a vanity mirror, a TV. And then if you walk over to the bathroom area, there's a bathtub with cool lights. And if you're concerned about privacy, there's actually a curtain here that you can pull close. It is a little odd that you don't have a separate room for the bathroom, uh, but it is what it is. And there's also a standard toilet and a shower. 7-Eleven for breakfast. Last time I was in Bangkok, I tried their paninis and they're so good. They heat it up for you in the store. A lot of prepared food uh, that you can heat up in the microwave here as well. And these sticky rice burgers are also super delicious. Everything is like a dollar or less. It's a really affordable breakfast, especially if you're on the go. Got a coffee, nice coffee here. The pepinini comes out all toasted and hot, ready for you to eat. And then the rice burger come, they heat it in the plastic bag. You just open it, it's super hot, so you have to be careful. But it is really good, I assure you. Yummy. Mm. It's like sticky rice. Yeah, sticky rice. Is it good? Yeah, I like it. I did not lie to you. Okay, now we're going to hop on a ferry like the locals to beat traffic and to get to the Grand Palace. It was only 16 baht per person. But joke's on us because the Grand Palace is actually closed today due to a visit from a government minister, from what I can understand, uh, who's presiding over a ceremony or something. So we ended up going to the MBK Mall instead, which is one of the mega malls in Bangkok. MBK right now, we're just shopping around for souvenirs and to check out this giant mall. Just went to Watson's and we bought a bunch of Tiger Balm as souvenirs. Apparently the ones in Thailand are more legit and stronger than the ones that are imported to the US. We're at a little snack station. They have a bunch of stalls here selling souvenir snacks. Chesley is stopping by to get some mango soda. As we got the mango soda, not a smoothie. Looks good. Very fresh. Inside this store that has a lot of different souvenirs, I think mainly from Japan, a lot of Japanese skincare, snacks, uh, figurines, 
And the One Piece section, which Chesley is jazzed about because that's his favorite anime. <laughs> A lot of different snacks from Japan. Oh, they even have sashimi and it looks so good. Wow, this one has my heart. Oh, all the nigiris look so good too. Sadly, we are going to Chinatown in an hour to eat lunch, so I have to save my stomach. I think we're on the fourth floor and they have these clothing stands that sell really affordable clothing for like 80 to 100 baht. And Chesley found the perfect dress shirt. This is the perfect shade of pink and it fits him because this is Asian fit, slim fit. So now we are at Chinatown and we're gonna grab some lunch here and walk around. Looks like it's a special festival today. It says vegetarian festival and all the food stalls are selling vegetarian food. Chesley spotted a food stall he wants to try. It is a stuffed peppers. Sorry, I don't know my coins. <laughs> this is five, right? Fifty five. No, only five five. Okay. So. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Is it spicy? No, it's good. What is it stuffed with? Mushrooms? I don't know. That's good. Probably a tofu mushroom mixture, it looks like, right? Oh. Ooh. Oh, or eggplant. Anyway, our plans kept being foiled today because the three restaurants in Chinatown that I wanted to eat at, recommended by Mark Waynes, by the way, are all closed today. There was a curry spot, a rolled beef noodle stall, and an oyster omelet place. All were closed today or at lunchtime. I am so sad. Plan B though is to go to Icon Siam, another mega mall where they have a ton of food options. And what's so special about Icon Siam's food court at the bottom floor is that it's a indoor night market. dumplings and Sichuan chili oil and they have three different types of dumplings and they're gonna mix and match for us and for six pieces it's a hundred baht I didn't get to try the oyster omelette that's famous in Chinatown, but I did find this oyster omelette place in this week court, so I'm gonna try it. Have our, our muscle fried egg pancake thing. Looks really good. I need you blown up. This was so good. I give it a 10 out of 10. 
the crust was so crispy and crunchy and I normally don't like bean sprouts but they did it pretty well in this stir fry mixture and the sauce was tangy and the mussels tasted really fresh. And now Chesley wants to try their steamed crab with egg because he's never tried uh, never tried this before. It looks really good. And it's 300 baht per crab. It's on sale right now. Usually it's 500 baht. We waited around for a few minutes while they steamed it in this steamer basket. Thank you. This is the steamed crab. It took about five minutes for them to steam, steam it for us. Fresh. It's actually tough, pretty tough to take off. Oh yeah. Huh. Oh, it seems pretty stuck on. Yeah. Maybe just use your mouth. <laughs> Maybe. Do you want some chopsticks? No, I think I got it. It's stiffer. Oh, it's egg yolk. Oh, it's egg yolk. Yeah, it's egg yolk. It seems like they overcooked it. That's why it's a steam egg. Not a steam crab egg, but a steam egg yolk. The sauce is really good. It's spicy. So I think they overcooked it way too much. They might have forgotten about our crab in the steamer, honestly. It did not taste good at all. We give it a 0 out of 10 and we would not buy this again. We had a couple of snacks and appetizers, but now I'm ready for some real food. Eating a couple of street food snacks, we decided to head up to the second floor where they have Sushi Sushi Ro, which is a chain uh, conveyor belt sushi place from Japan, and it looks really good. We definitely gotta get the bluefin by Tuna Sea Urchin. And of course, I get the salmon belly. Two of those. And then your order comes up here on the second level. Wow. Wow, look at that. I don't know what to do. Some sort of squid that Chesley wants to try. And then the basil baked salmon. Just checked out. We ate seven plates of food and came out to 500, 528 baht, which is about $15 USD. So that was a really good deal. Look at this place. It's so ridiculous. It's like dedicated to just ramen and crazy types of ramen. The food looks so crazy. It has lobster in one of them. This is the fanciest ramen place ever. They even do live dance for you. They're so cute. You can also find on the second floor this viewing area where you can look down at the indoor street market themed food court we were just at and it's so cool how they have this whole fake floating market with boats piled with fruits and produce and these lanterns give the place such a romantic atmosphere it always feels like nighttime even though it's day and then once you come up from the ground basement floor where there's a bunch of food you enter the ginormous shopping mall. There are so many floors here. 
it looks like they have 13 floors here including the bottom levels it's the most new age coffee shop i've ever seen they don't even have a proper name it's just percentage percent and it looks like an apple store <laughs> it's so sterile and white we have a dedicated Dyson store and an Nespresso store. They really have a store for everything. Across this infant and baby clothing floor and they have Harry Potter outfits for little babies. It's so cute. This one's Slytherin and it has a little cape and it comes with a onesie that's a fake skirt. And now Chelsea and I are debating whether we should get Hufflepuff or Slytherin because I am a Slytherin, but Chesley is a Hufflepuff. Yeah, and I don't know what our kid is going to be in the future. Okay, so actually, instead of Slytherin or Hufflepuff, we ended up getting Ravenclaw because I thought the blue set looked really cute. And I am, in fact, actually a Ravenclaw, not a Slytherin, although I like to pretend I am a Slytherin. Um, and also the Hufflepuff version was missing the the onesie so we couldn't get that set anyways so at this point we're pretty tired from walking all day all morning and afternoon and we're also a little bit overwhelmed because there's just so much to see in this mall and this is only one of i think three of the siam malls uh we've barely scratched the surface but we came up to i think the very top level and they have even more restaurants cafes honestly the malls in bangkok are top tier you could spend the entire day at just one mall exploring going to try their strawberry milk they also have strawberry yogurt here but the strawberry milk looks really good they have other strawberry confections too. Like candy strawberries, chocolate dip strawberries. Also, and they also have strawberry mochis. Cute. After shopping around Icon Siam yesterday, we decided to head back to the hotel and then we got a 60 minute foot massage for like. 350 baht which is $10 USD so it was super worth it for an hour it was so good and the massage place was right across the street from our hotel so it was really convenient for us and we were supposed to go to a night market right after but we got so tired and so relaxed that we decided just to stay in and get some grab uh, delivery for dinner and then we just went to bed early Good morning everyone! It is day two of our Bangkok trip. It is bright and early, 8 a.m. and we're going to try to go to Grand Palace again today. Hopefully it's open. But first we're going to grab some breakfast here at this cafe. are going to Grand Palace today so we found a cafe that's open that's nearby so that we can grab some breakfast and coffee before we head over. It's 8 a.m. right now and a lot of places nearby aren't open until 10 30 a.m. so this cafe is the one to go to if you want to grab breakfast beforehand. This is my breakfast. I got the Thai style omelet with pork over rice and then a Thai coffee. Looks like there are chives in here and ground pork. And we have pours of better rice. Mmm, smells good too. Mm. Mm. And then Chesley got the green curry with chicken. some basil and peppers in there. And then my aunt and uncle bought, got the, I don't know, their western breakfast, which has ham, eggs, and 
French fries, and I think some sort of sausage with toast. We are now at Wat Po, the reclining Buddha. And foreigners have to come over to this side to buy tickets for 200 baht. It's 9 a.m. here, and we highly recommend coming here early. Or eight. Some of these temples open at 8 a.m. Um, and if you come here early, you're beating the afternoon heat, and there are way less people. Yeah, it's super quiet here. Not a lot of folks are at the temple yet this early. Now we're entering the room where the giant reclining Buddha lives. For a little context, the Wat Po Temple is one of the largest temple complexes in the city and it's famous for its giant reclining Buddha. This Buddha is 40 meters tall and 46 meters long and it's also covered in gold leaf. Pictures and videos really don't do it justice. It's very impressive seeing it in person. It's so big, it takes up the entire room from end to end, from floor to ceiling. There are these pillars that obstruct your view, but if you walk all the way to the end of uh, where the Buddha's feet are, at the other end of the room, there's a great viewing area here to see the full statue. Towards the exit, there are 108 bronze monk bowls, and for 20 baht, you can buy coins to drop into each bowl for good luck and as a gesture of giving alms. The 108 number symbolizes the journey to spiritual completion, so it's a sacred number in Buddhism. After visiting Wat Po, we are going over to the Grand Palace, which is just right next door, so very convenient. When you go to the Grand Palace, you do need to cover your shoulders and your knees. So Chesley bought a pair of elephant pants for 100 baht, which is about $2. And now we're ready to go in. I think we arrived right in time for the changing of the guards. After we bought our tickets, we headed right in and it's actually a really big area so you can easily get lost and it's a little disorienting but luckily they have maps for us. Because we came here after Wat Po, it's a little bit later in the morning, 10.30ish and there's tons of people and tour groups right now. Right at the entrance of the Grand Palace, you see the famous Emerald Temple. You do have to take off your shoes when you enter. The Temple of the Emerald Buddha is regarded as the most sacred Buddhist temple in Thailand because it houses the figurine of the most sacred Buddha statue in Thailand. This statue is made from one solid piece of green jade. It's clothed in gold and diamonds and elevated above the heads of worshippers and tourists as a sign of respect. Unfortunately, no photography or videography is allowed inside, so I'll just show you around the exterior, which is incredibly elaborate, decorated in sophisticated patterns and designs, and it's bejeweled on every possible surface. It's really an architectural marvel to behold. After seeing the Emerald Buddha, we explored around this area some more Saw a couple other buildings, but no buildings that you could actually enter, so we were only uh, enjoying the exterior and the architecture. But at this point, it was getting so hot. I was just dripping sweat. Everyone was tired and fatigued. We didn't want to be under the sun anymore. Uh, so we were just speed walking through everything. 
So one thing to watch out for, um, which we didn't know going into the Grand Palace, is that the Grand Palace is kind of split into the Temple section and then the Palace section. The Temple section is gated, and once you exit this section, you can't get back in. You can only move forward to seeing like the ga Palace area. And so if you have friends or family members still, you know, off exploring on their own in the temple area make sure that you are able to communicate with them that wasn't the case with us my uncle was still chilling in the temple area but we had already left and he didn't have wi-fi or like cellular service so we had to beg the guards to let us back in to find him this is the ground palace where royalty used to stay can you imagine living in such a beautiful opulent place Sadly, we are not allowed inside the Grand Palace itself, which is a bummer because I want to see what furniture they have or what it looks like inside and what the architecture is like. But you can really only see the exterior of the buildings here. That was the end of our Grand Palace tour. Now we're in a grab getting ready to go get lunch and it is so hot so I'm so grateful for the AC in this car. We're checking out yet another mega mall, the Emporium M Courtier. It's one of three interconnected malls called the M District. This huge mall directory already gives you a sense of how massive this place is, but we don't have a lot of time to explore. We're going to head straight to the Helix Dining Center. It has 50 restaurants to choose from. There are so many dining options to choose from, from Chinese, Japanese, there's actually a lot of Japanese restaurants here, um, to Thai, to Western options, you're gonna find something that you want to eat here. We ended up going to a restaurant called Tong Smith, which specializes in boat noodles. I think their beef noodles are their signature. It comes with the spicy soup. You can also get it dry without the soup. And they also have some pork options and one chicken option from what I remember. My aunt and I ordered the chrysanthemum slushies. They're supposed to dispel heat according to Chinese medicine. Chesley got the pandan soda. Curious what that's gonna taste like. And my uncle went with a classic Coca Cola. Chesley ordered the spicy beef boat noodles with soup, and I ordered a version of that without the spice because my mouth still hurt it at this point. I ordered the beef combo dry noodle. It doesn't have as much soup as the other ones. Um, with wide, flat rice noodles. And it looks so flavorful. It comes with some meatballs, some braised beef tendon, um, and then some beef slices. Looks good. Sadly, we don't have a lot of time at Emporium to explore. We came here mostly for the to eat lunch at one of the restaurants. Stop! <laughs> and now we have to rush to grab a grab to get to our spa appointment at Divana Santora Spa. We always end up getting grabs or just walking because grabs are so affordable, they're AC'd, and they're so convenient. We're here right on time, 2 p.m. Let's go. Is this entrance? Okay, okay. 
I am so excited for a spa appointment today because we booked the spa elegance package which is a 190 minute experience that includes a foot soak, a refreshing foot toner, body brush and carnation oil cover, an herbal steam, a fresh body scrub followed by homemade body mud, and then an aromatherapy body massage and you end it all with a warm milky bath. It sounds like luxury and relaxation for three hours. Oh, and pro tip, book this through KK Day for a discount and I'll leave the link below. I'm not affiliated. This is just what I used and it was a good experience. Here is our private room. You get robes and underwear to change into, and these are all um, that they're gonna use during our, these are like the oils and the mud and scrubs that they're gonna use during the treatment. You get some underwear to change into because you are going to need to strip down. Um, this is the rest of the room. And I think in there, there's a bathtub, a private bathtub where we're gonna be taking a milky bath. Nice, and then you get a shower afterwards. All right, let's get this started. Wow, three hours passed just like that in a blink of an eye and we're at the end of our spa treatment. You get served tea and some fresh fruit at the end, which I thought was a really nice touch. It's around 6 p.m. now and we're gonna go grab some dinner. I found out about this restaurant recommendation from Chris Parker who is a YouTuber who lives in Thailand. He has a channel Retired Working For You and his recommendation did not disappoint. This place is so good. Locals come here. It's really hidden in an alley, but oh my gosh, their crab omelet or curry, which was what that was, and this fried ri crab fried rice, everything was 10 out of 10 amazing. After dinner, we went to explore one more mall on our list, Terminal 21. This mall is designed to look like an airport, complete with a shopping guide that looks like a passport. I've also been told you can even check in for your upcoming flight on the main floor. It's a nine-story complex and its themed floors will transport you from places like Tokyo to Istanbul to San Francisco all in one day. So each floor is a different city. I thought it was really cool. It was already near closing time, which is 10 p.m., so a lot of shops weren't open, but what was open was Bake a Wish, which is a bakery pastry shop, and they have these cute little cakes that come in bite-sized pieces, so you can choose and taste a bunch of different types of cakes. I really like this concept. We should introduce this to more bakeries in the United States. And then we ended the night with a quick stroll to Soy Cowboy Road, which is known for nightlife and bars and clubs that cater to foreigners. And that's all for our first part of our Bangkok trip. Keep watching for a preview of the next video.